Thank you very much for stopping out today. I'm Jim Stark. I'm uh, one of the co-hosts of the Big Show on Friday afternoon on WTK from 4 to 6. So be sure to tune in today, and we'll be uh, playing some of the highlights of the discussion with some of the players. And let me just say that we've been doing high school football to actual games uh, for four years. I remember the first year we did it, there was a young freshman named Nick Hill who was the first freshman to ever start for Chelsea. Remember that was a big deal because they kept telling him now we see some four years later. Well, I think it's Nick and Rachel and the other guys I had today. Thank you. Uh, WTKA, we're moving our, uh, our high school sports coverage to TKA this year. We're having several Chelsea games on uh, the WTK or WLBY this fall, including the first game of the year, uh, Big Day Prep Showdown, kickoff at 5 o'clock. So my year, so we'll have that game on the air. And so we're looking forward to another great year of Chelsea football that is part of our high school football games on WTKA. So, uh, also, let us know if you have any questions during the season or things you want us to cover or talk about in our coverage. This is all about the high school and the community. It's what we're doing with the high school football. And we're glad to be part of it. And there's no better place to go to on a Friday night for high school football than Chelsea. I think you all know that. But when we come out here, it's always a great pleasure. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And you folks treat it like it's the sport game that it is. Of course, for Wayne Wellman and, and Coach Bush and his entire staff, they treat us great. We've got a great facility here. We've seen it grow over the years. And congratulations again to everyone that's participated in that because it's, it's one of the best facilities we go to in the entire year. So it's great to be out here at Chelsea. It's great to be part of, a, of the Big Day Big Cup Showdown. And as Kurt mentioned, or as Coach mentioned, tickets are available for the entire two days of football. It's a great chance to see not only your school, but some of the other SEC schools like Huron and Pioneer and Celine. If I can say Celine here, is that okay, Coach? It's not a bad, it's not a square word. Selena will be playing as well, uh, so it's a great chance to see the, the great uh, series of high school football games from the best uh, players in the state will be in those games, including Nick Hill and the rest of your Chelsea team, and of course some other uh, exciting players you'll learn about as the, as the games go on. But stop out, see us that day, and it'll be a lot of fun for those of you high school football fans who want to see some great, uh, great high school football right over at Nearson on Friday the 28th and Saturday the 29th. Of course, your Chelsea game will be Saturday the 29th at 5 o'clock, and we'll have that on. Uh, without further ado, why don't we say hi to some of the guys? Why don't we just pass the mic down, give us your name, guys, and play and maybe a thought or two about the not so much summer fact, but I mean, no one knows that. Tell us about football and football. Uh, I'm Zach Miller. I play safety. I'm going to be a senior this year. And we're just looking to do good this year. Follow up after what else? Everyone that's came for us. Um, Nick Hill, uh, senior running back here at Chelsea. Chelsea. I'm, just I'm just looking forward to the team is getting over the hump. We got to the finals, finals past two years. years. And we're just looking to get over that hump and we're looking to go all the way to Fort Field. Hello, Hello. My, name my name is Scott, Scott the Ball. Uh, uh, my, my number, number is number 70. Uh, I play outside linebacker. I'm going to be a senior. And, and I'm really looking really forward to this uh, upcoming uh, fall because, because there's, there's nothing like, like being out there, out there on Friday, Friday nights. nights. Uh, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing there's I can compare us to it. it. And, and I'm really I'm looking forward, forward to getting over that hump of regional finals and going to our goal to state championship. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to it. I'm Brad Fortune. I'm the head coach. This is my 13th season. We have 75 guys on our varsity football team, and they're a really good group. And I think some of you younger guys that are here will get a chance to meet a lot of them here today in a few minutes. And I'm really excited that you guys decided to come out. And uh, the practice today will be uh, a little bit different so that we get a chance for all of you to see kind of how we do things. And there'll be a scrimmage in, in the uh, practice as well, so you get a chance to see some real football. One of the One favorite, favorite things, things we have to do when we get time to talk to the players and find out what's going on in their minds above and beyond the X's and the O's. Uh, so I'll start with, uh, with Zach here. Zach, what's more important to a winning team, defense or offense? Well, uh, I don't mean to make, make Coach Bush mad, but they say, they say defense wins the championship, so that's what I'm going to go. Nick, how about you? What's your take? I have to say, you know, it's equal defense, you know, gives an opportunity for the offense to get on the field. The offense can't score, you can't win. So, you know, it's equal, I believe. That's it down? 
I'm gonna go with both. You need the defense to stop the opponent, and then you need the offense to score. I'm gonna go with both. Now we gotta ask the coach what he thinks. <laughs> Well, I think the defense is always there in any sport. Defense is usually the thing that shows up every night. And if you look at any championship team, usually they're very good on defense. And so if you're saying what's the most important thing, it'd be defense. Although we're going to try to score some points, too. This is a question I always like to ask players. And, and we'll go down the line again to Zach and Nick and Scott. What was your memory of the first time you ran out in that tunnel? for a Friday night game, stands are packed, it's a great night. What was this, what went through your mind that first time you walked on the field for your first high school game? Well, well I remember, like you said, it's just, it's just packed, packed, it's loud, loud. I, don't know, I don't know, you're just excited to get out there and play, really, so. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't really think about all the surroundings, all the surroundings as, much as much as I was thinking, thinking about not screwing up on your first play. My first reaction was, and I was just nervous and scared to death, and I was in the locker room. I got on the field, and I was hopeful I wasn't going to screw up. I had the ball in my hand, I played in a fumble. But I felt, you know, I had confidence in my teammates that, you know, they'll pick me up if I made a mistake, or they'll be there for me regardless of if I did good or bad. So, you know, I had confidence that we win, and I felt, you know, in the locker room before the game, they were ready to play. Um, there's just nothing that compares to running out of that tunnel. It's just it's a special thing, and when you run out of that, I mean, you're jacked up, you're ready to go. So it's a special thing. Coach, remember the first time you ran out of the tunnel? It was a long time ago. But it, but it, I, I, I get excited for Friday the same way the players do. You know, the atmosphere. I think it's special here for a lot of reasons, especially the community and the support that we get. So it's, uh, it's still exciting for me.